AES New York City 2018 coverage was made possible by viewers like you, specifically the ones who let the ads play. I toured these guys' facility in 2017, but I never really went to their booth before at a convention. And that's kind of cool because you do have a, a much newer console. Um, now, you did say that there's a the touch screen or whatever that is was, was in your... Our legacy access console, we've had that touch automation controller there for a year or two, uh, but we've now, we introduced the new 2448 and the 1608 Mark II today at the show, and we've now brought that automation system common to all of our consoles. So it's just one of the real improvements that we like amongst other things here, so. It looks like you have LED bulbs in the uh, meter bridge. They do. It's uh, yeah. Just um, some of the older consoles had incandescents, um, which may look cool, but uh, changing them got a little bit of a pain. So we, we tried to go for that sort of yellow look to try to make it look old school, but the reliability of the LEDs for sure. Cool. Now this is called what? This is the 2448, uh, brand new today. I sort of like to describe it as the 1608's big brother because uh, it's the same bus architecture as the 1608 with eight main buses, um, eight aux buses, and a stereo program bus. Um, but it expands it into an inline console, so you have a large and small input, uh, which is just so much more flexibility um, for recording and then mixing and monitoring. We also have the ability to go to an alt line input. So a 24 input frame like this has 48 line inputs at mix down. And then you add in an additional four stereo, you actually get 56 inputs in this small 48 inch frame um, at mix down. I had a few general questions about API. So first of all, do you, do you custom order everything or is it through dealers or how does that work because like let's say I wanted one with four 50, 50, uh, 550 A's, a few 550 B's, a few five, you know, 60's or does it already come pre-installed or how does that work? With these consoles, that's pretty much one of the few things you can customize. We can change around the EQ complement for you at order time, yeah, both this and the 1608. But I'm saying, would that be through the dealer? Uh, it's wherever you're buying it, and I think most of the, I'm engineering, so I can't speak to everything, but I, most of these are sold through our dealer and distribution network, yes. Okay, so I would get the add-ons at that time. Yes. Okay, and the other question is, or maybe I have a few more. <laughs> um, is this real wood? Yes, it is. It is American cherry. American cherry. Yes. And let's see. Um, so, what do you think makes API? Why do people choose API over other, all the other brands? Um, sort of the sound. You know, we talk about the API sound. It's been around for almost 50 years. Our mic preamps um, and our EQs are you know, have a history of that 50 year time frame of just being sought after in the industry. Um, and then we bring that into some modern controls with our consoles, analog, and just still strictly 100% analog, analog summing, and all sorts of those things are just sought after in, the digital, in this world with all the digital recording things these days, so. And, um, well what I'm gonna do is get some photos after we do this video, Great. but I mean, I'll just put it this way. If you're picky about stuff, I mean, I, 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 there's almost too many options here. So that means you're not going to run out of options for, you know, um, like chain and stuff together. I don't know if I can get a picture of the inside or the outside where all the inputs and outputs are. Definitely take a rear picture, yeah. Definitely we like to think that we got a lot of flexibility as far as your routing. You know, where you can go, which buses and which auxes and how it all works. Just a lot of flexibility for however your workflow is. And you said this is for automation? That's correct. That's the automation controller, touch screen. Uh, it's basically no external computer needed. Uh, everything is built right in. Uh, you can change all your modes and everything like that. So, When you turn it on, does it have the API logo? It does. That's worth it right there, guys. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so I'm going to get a few pictures. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, have a good show. And you are actually the one who designed this. I don't know if you mentioned that at the beginning, right? I am definitely one of the designers. I have a team that works with me for sure, though, yes. But you're the lead or whatever. I'm the director of engineering, yes. The lead bow tie wearer. Yes, yes, for sure. <laughs> All right, well, API, thanks again. And maybe one day, in like five years from now, I'll, I'll tour again. I don't know. <laughs> See ya.